What's up, YouTube? <laughs> well, yesterday was awesome. It was a long day, but we got the whole side of the bus on this side all painted. And it looks awesome. We're quite happy. So now the only thing left to be painted is the front of the bus. We've had planned all along to tear off the bonnets on that header up there and um, we're just going to cover the whole thing with one we're going to take off the marker lights and the, bon the bonnet covers we're going to put one piece of sheet metal all the way across there and we're going to do it just like we did the back flasher lights when we take them off we're going to take the lights off we're going to fit the piece of sheet metal we'll cut the piece of sheet metal to fit up there get it to size pre-drill it we'll prime it and then uh, we'll get it stuck up there and then we can get the front of this girl painted and our outside once we get the marker lights back on then our outside should be pretty well buttoned up for the bad weather so we'll see how far we get Okay guys, here this is from the inside, and I have to tell you, after tearing that stuff off of the outside, there was lots of holes and stuff, that, <laughs> extra holes, like that there that were not sealed, and all the gaskets were dried, there's another extra hole down there. Anyhow. Wish me luck because all of this is my nemesis. I have been not looking forward to taking all this wiring out and I'm pretty much at the point that once this thing goes up, all that, it doesn't go to anything anymore. It all needs to come out. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, right? So here it is from the outside. Now I'm getting ready to go make my paper pattern. Another reason I wanted to put the metal on this is if you look at it closely, you can see that it's kind of all checked all the way across here. It's got little hairline cracks in it. So I hope in there, I don't know, I don't know what somebody was doing there, but they cut a few extra holes. So I'll just proceed with my plan to make this paper pattern and see if we can get this covered up. So what do you think? What do you think, Mr. Randy? <laughs> well, you know, there's that, there's that dip up there. Uh-huh. Kind of dippy. <laughs> I think I can just run my finger in it like this and make it crease. Oh, and increase it? Well, just by pushing it down, you're getting that little crease, huh? Oh, well, I'm just trying to get this excess material. Yeah, that rough shape, huh? Out of the way. Okay, guys, once I got this figured out, I'm able to just slip the razor knife down into that channel and trace that shape out. Basically, once I got in there, I can just lay my blade on there like that. That's how I, I cut all the way around this. And then down here, I did the same thing. So now I got my basic pattern of the piece of sheet metal that needs to go on there. Okay, so I got my rough end pattern there. And 
this is right to the edges of the opening and I don't want it to come all the way out so I'm going to go around and just trim an eighth of an inch off and then have Shelly help me double check it before I transfer it onto the sheet metal. We're going up YouTube, we're going up. What's up YouTube? That's me, me, I'm going I'm up. Going up. Okay, YouTube, let me take you up there and show you what we've got going on. We've got a really good fit. Okay, you want to show them? Well, right here is, that's so, of course the windshield and the little groove before it, but this is a, a big flat area. It's flat for that wide, so. And that's the center. So I want to stay up high enough that I don't ever, you know. Yeah, so you can replace a windshield. All right. And we've got a good. Yeah, so. Following that, yep. all the way around. Yep. So I'm just gonna put in the middle, so we know that's where that was. And we'll transfer that mark onto the sheet metal. There you go. That'll be perfect. Put some out here. Don't want to hit the windshield when we're trying to right, put this thing put on. It so it's interesting YouTube having worked on here we're learning more things about our bus. Our spring has sprung. You want to show them Randy? Our spring has... Oh, it's, it doesn't pull down anymore. It's broken down at the bottom. On our windshield wiper. That's okay. So you can see how this one, yeah, that one. works and that one don't. But we can fix that. Okay, guys, now comes the time where we're going to transfer it on to the sheet metal. She's marking our little tick lines that we had so we know where to realign them once we get it up there. So were you a very good tracer in school? I used to do this kind of tracing all the time when I was working in the auto glass trade. That's where I learned to be such an excellent pattern maker. Oh, I know. This is gravy here. This is just a piece of metal. It's not a piece of glass. Yeah, it's totally amazing how trades that you learned years ago benefit you later in life, huh? Yeah. Okay guys, we've got this header piece all pinned up here with the Clecos. So now I'm going back and drilling the rest of the holes in between the Clecos, which up here is really easy. Hello, Shelly. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, one of my big fears going across here. Across the bottom here, it's fiberglass, and then there's an air gap, and then there's a metal strip on that header in there. And the metal strip is back far enough I had to drill into it so the pop rivets could seat, but they won't grab it when I pull them down. But I was, you want to be, if you get anywhere near your windshield, if I slipped through the hole and fell in hard or whatever, I could break the windshield. So I put in a brand new bit and I just used my hand as a shield to catch the bit or the drill when it went through. Anyhow, all I got to do is finish drilling these guys, which these drill easy. So I'll finish drilling these take it down, prime it on both sides, and then come up and seek a flex it and glue it on. It's really exciting to see it without all the clutter up here.
Okay guys, so I went ahead and I cut out the dishes where those flasher lights were. So there's that. It's pretty simple. I just marked around it, drilled a starter hole and just cut around it with my jigsaw. Hey YouTube. I was worried about being able to get this out, whether it was welded or not. And there was some bolts up here and they were so loose I just unscrewed them with my fingers and there's some screws in the bottom and I think you know, this thing I was worried about getting out it just slips out. It was like cake. Which is awesome because now I can get down here with the backup washers when I put the rivets in. Wow. <laughs> and we can insulate up here better. So here's what we were doing was I was holding washers on the back side of these rivets that is going next to the plexiglass. Okay, so Randy's taking the excess Cicaflex and caulking all those rivets. And after being on the opposite side of them, I could see this is a good thing to do because there's a few of them that pop through and you could see daylight. Daylight, people, daylight. And these are good quality stainless steel rivets, too. Okay, guys, we got that header piece all installed up there. Quite happy with it. I just think it looks so clean and uncluttered. Go on the inside and show them the inside. You won't believe on the inside. So the things that I have been putting off, like I kind of come to need to take care of them so to put that in I had to move all that wiring out of the way so cleaning up that wiring is on my list of things that need to be done now so that's it this is where that box was sitting in there and the cups for the flasher lights pushed in here and I didn't see where they would add adding really any strength and so again with them cut out I can insulate up there way easier so, but this is the monster that I unleashed the Kraken, man. <laughs> Anyhow, that's how we put the new front on our header of our bus up there. Uh, I love it. I think it looks really clean. It seems fairly strong. So, anyhow, hope all your projects are going great and you have lots of love in your life. Catch you guys in the next one.